We're back, people, and today we're bringing on film on Jahan Dotson, Washington Commanders wide receiver. He had a really good rookie season. Just everything from his release packages, his route running, it's a work of art. He has this explosiveness to get in and out of breaks. He's really good at the catch point, which I really think sets him apart from other smaller receivers. Usually smaller receivers struggle to make contested catches, but he has those long arms. He knows how to adjust. He has great body control, and then he's also dynamic after the catch, makes some guys miss good overall player him and terry are going to be one of the best duos in the league for quite some time it's gonna be really fun to watch i'm not even a commander's fan but i'm a really big fan of those two players he just understands how to create separation work his pace timing everything really impressive advanced player for a rookie which you just don't see the things that he's doing from rookies this often and it's a really good thing uh for like scouting prospects in the future just when you see an undersized guy like this that's able to, you know, create this type of play with his route running, his release packages. A lot of times, those guys are pretty 50-50 working out. But when they're also able to make plays at the catch point, make contested catches for a smaller guy, I think that's what really sets players like Dotson apart. So we'll break down this play. At the bottom of the screen, Dotson facing like a soft press look right here. And he works this hezzy skip triple step release. And like this corner right here has inside leverage. And he's got to break the slant. So he plays slow plays this initially. Is able to square him up here takes a slight inside work he doesn't make it super obvious that he's going to the inside so he just squares him up works this hezzy release just to see what the db's leverage is going to be like he's just reading him hezzy skip triple step and then he gives it hard jab to the outside right here which moves this db out of the spot he makes him shoot his hands just completely whiffs that ability to just separate instantly get in and out of your breaks so he's just setting this up perfectly advanced technical skill and then to the athleticism to create that separation catch the ball and then shows off some vision to make some play after the catch here not his most impressive yards after the catch play but still nice to see him just see the field well get some yards after the catch get those hidden yardage you know people don't think about a ton but he's a solid player after the catch pretty much there's no really main weakness to his game he also like usually smaller guys are stuck on the inside but he's easily could play inside outside he's a vertical threat he has the long speed and tracking ability and those long arms to create down the field a lot of things the best route runners in the league do is make all their releases all their routes starting out looking the same like he loves using this hezzy skip right here he starts out with the hezzy skip but instead of using a triple step he just sells vertically with the speed right here and it's his ability just to sink those hips so we saw the hezzy skip earlier so he starts out with the hezzy skip, gathers himself, looks like he's going to, you know, maybe stick that right foot in the ground, break on the slant again, but then he just works vertically. Look how, look at this explosion out of his stance. Now he's selling vertically full speed and then sinks those hips. He doesn't give any indication that he's going to, you know, break right here. Usually, usually when these guys are working vertically and they're going to sell on this curl right here just break they'll like either get high pad level start to slow down he doesn't at all he gets out of the break smoothly and he works and he catches the ball away from his frame good hand catching technique and instantly turns into a yards after catch guy turning up the field getting an extra eight nine yards right there another excellent play from dots and just a really fun player to watch honestly all these plays you're seeing versus the cowboys are all just like in a few play sequence too just like back to back to back to back um another impressive play working a slow play he loves to work these pace releases skip this to the outside he just understands how to work leverage here he attacks this time to the outside but makes it more obvious showing this db that he might work to the outside and this db gives up this leverage to the inside he's dictating the db's leverage he tries to match this and now he's slowing down manipulating that route pace then gives you know that hard stick to the outside and he's won this route instantly just creating that easy separation he's such a natural separator catch the ball get some more yards after the catch just instantly accelerate up the field he's not afraid to work this middle of the field at all he's pretty fearless in that area i mean he's not like the strongest player that's probably one of the bigger downsides to his game i guess you could call it I wouldn't say his play strength is his biggest thing but he does play bigger than his size at the catch point with his tracking ability he has those long arms and he's still not afraid to take on some physical contact this is a third and 17 situation dotson facing a press look pre-snap but he ends up bailing right before the snap playing in a deep zone and Dotson just does a great job of manipulating the DB getting him to work inside just enough to pick up 20 yards running this deep out route very impressive change of direction skills he's just starting off uh working vertically not as staying at a pretty nice pace here 
and then he gives that inside look here nod to the inside show your shoulders eyes head all to the inside which moves 23 to follow like you're gonna run a dig or something and then to be able to change directions like this sink those hips look how low he gets and is able to get to the outside on this track and then the ball was thrown a little bit behind he still goes attacks it at the catch point makes a tough catch near the sideline shows some awareness too to get those two feet in bounds really excellent play if you can have a player like this make these types of plays on third and 17 as a rookie love the poise out of him that's a big big time play here we got Dotson at the top of the screen facing some off man coverage right here and he just works like this rocker step which you like see players like Justin Jefferson use a lot basically working like a pressure because that inside to the outside stab rocker step type move it gets the DB all turned around and he has to flip those hips back it puts him in a very difficult position to get and he gets this inside track Stevie has inside leverage look he's standing on the numbers Dotson is outside of the numbers and he just gives that boom pressure step gets back to the inside gets on his inside track doesn't even have a ton of separation and still makes a tough catch knowing that this DB is close to him and he might get hit from the safety not afraid to make those plays he's a good red zone threat he had a lot of touchdowns this season when he played like he missed some games due to injuries and he was still scoring touchdowns it felt like every time he was on the field at least once um just he usually smaller guys you don't think they're the types of guys to make plays down in the red zone but a lot of times you want to attack those guys you get a one-on-one -on -one matchup with your rookie Dodson because of terry and uh he's gonna score because he's a very good separator separation is so important down in the red zone here we get Dotson in a tight split and we get to see him work vertically down the field take some pretty good angles here and it's just pure speed but the tracking the ability to make the contested catches this is the, what I was talking about earlier in the video. This is the most impressive contested catch yet. You just don't see this type of thing from smaller guys. He's working just basically versus a deep safety down the field. He attacks to the outside and then he just tries to work his speed. tries to stack over the top. But now he's just getting a feel for where the DB is. He's tracking while like his vision could be all messed up. But works over the top. This is great hands the long catch radius everything at the catch point super impressive from Dotson just a great great player he doesn't do it to anything too fancy with the route he changes up his angles which is nice which you love to see um, not making everything too obvious just running vertically down the field a lot of guys just run pure speed but that ability to make this catch look at him at the catch point right there very strong is not afraid of a little contact you just don't see many smaller guys making these types of plays Dotson right here in the slot. This one more is press of plays after the catch. Gives a nice little hezzy release. He actually gets exactly what he wants. Works a nice little spin move. You see a little creativity after the catch, which you like to see. It's just man-to-man -man in the slot, and we'll watch him. He gets his inside track. Instead of just completely taking it, he slows down, making it look like he might whip this back to the outside. But And this completely freezes the DB, and he has a perfect explosive, explosiveness out of that cut. And now this DB doesn't even have a chance to get the angle on him. He runs through that arm tackle. And then out of the arm tackle, he gets the spin for the end zone. Love to see a player that has that type of creativity. Just enough contact balance, enough play strength where he can work through some DB arm tackles, which is nice to see. He just really is the entire package at receiver. Watch Dotson right here. Another split alignment. And he just does a great job of working his pace variation, as I've heard some people call it, pace variance. But just really, his ability to decelerate and accelerate, he's not going super fast here, and then he accelerates to the inside, looking like he's going to work vertically through this seam between the DB and the safety, and he gets this DB to get too close to him, and he just sinks those hips. Look at his body language here. He brings his knees to his chest and gets out of this so efficiently and is able to create that separation like the DB has to work a center field turn, and he works back towards the ball right here. He doesn't just take a straight angle. He's running this deep comeback work back towards the ball so this DB has no chance to make a play just everything from a technical standpoint understanding what the DBs are trying to do he's just a very very smart player as I was saying Dotson down on the red zone he is a threat over here get him in man-to-man -man coverage he's gonna make some people pay deep corner route into the back of the end zone it's perfect for him he just squares up this DB he attacks that outside leverage then starts to re-stem vertically might break to the inside he just squares them up gives himself a two-way go sticks to the inside and is able to just get over the top great tracking in the end zone back the end zone over the top and it's just a really good throw as well but just tracked this in perfectly 
gave the DB no chance to make a play on this ball just based on his positioning, how he set this up, another perfectly crafted route. Last play that I'm going to break down on Dotson, another play down in the red zone, everything here from the release to making a play at the catch point, he creates an initial separation, ball's a little behind him so he has to make a play and a contested situation, he has great body control, but he sets this up looking like he might hit a little foot fire, but then he gives a little hesitation, skip, triple step, hard stab to the outside which gives him that inside track, again the Lions DB just gets moved completely. And then he has to, you know, readjust that angle vertically. So it allows 25 to get back on the play. But he still makes a contested catch. Look at him. Hands away from the body. Pulls it back in. The body control. Everything. Super impressive. I love watching Dotson play. I think he's going to be a very good receiver. And sleep for a very long time. Terry is one of my personal favorites to watch. So now I get to watch another good receiver in this offense. Like, look at this catch at the catch point. You can see it better from this angle. But, oh my god, that's impressive. Behind... It's basically catching a back shoulder on a slant like this when the guy's on your back shoulder. Very, very impressive. Almost snags it with one hand, basically. But you can just see, like, he has that ability, too, to make some one-handed grabs. Like, if you watched him at Penn State, definitely an ability that he's capable of. He has that. He has big hands for a little guy, too. So, just a full package type player, as I see it. John Dotson, inside, outside. He can make plays at all three levels, create separation. His releases are very good. Solid after the catch. And just amazing at the catch point for a smaller guy. It's just those types of things that you look for and those types of receivers. And he's got it all. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.